Amen. Fellowship is so important because it builds relationships. Everything in your body has a relationship with itself. Amen. Everything in this body has relationship. It's all wired and connected. And everything in the body of Christ should be perfectly joined together. There should be relationships, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are elated, praise God, for him allowing us to be here for another holy convocation. Amen. We appreciate all of you who have come from near and far. Praise God. And I'm just looking for us to go higher. Praise God. To so your neighbor, it's convocation time. Amen. It's convocation time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And at this time, we're going to take an offering, and then we're going to bring the man of God up from good tidings of great joy. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Come here, little chance. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hold that. Turn around to the crowd. Amen. Amen. Maybe I should put them there the whole service. Just let him hold it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 And I thank God. 
God, to this man of God, who is a pastor, who is a, a, a teacher of song, amen. amen, and he's also a, a musician, and we just praise God for him being here today. Amen. And let everybody understand that as he comes, amen, and let's receive him, Pastor Peter Moon from the St. Paul Apostolic Church of God. Here in Kansas City, praise God. Come on and see the man as he comes. Come on, come on, everybody. Put your hands together. Amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Now I got to teach, but I'm feeling good. Amen. Oh, God, I'm to 
God. Amen. Amen. But look down upon critters like us. That's right. Amen. Amen. Lost. Amen. Condemned. Come on. Doomed and had not he saved us, ready to be down to hell. That's right. But look where he brought us. Amen. And look at this corner in Mississippi today. We got people from five years. Yes. We got black and white. We got city and country. Yeah. But we're all here in the name of Jesus. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when the Word of God, which we hear from the ministry, 
and brethren, the song of praise gets us ready to battle the yeah. enemy yes. of our soul. Yes. 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 I'm thankful for holy Amen. 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 We're going to do some extensive reading of the Bible and talk for itself. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And again, thank you, Pastor Walker, and this wonderful host today Amen. for granting me this privilege. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning at verse number 1, Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brethren, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, that with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. In other words, he's their Lord and he's our Lord that call upon that name. Yeah. Uh, let's jump down to verse 18. Yeah. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Amen. For it is written, I want to destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made, the, made foolish the wisdom of this world? 21st verse. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them which believe. Hallelujah to God. Amen. 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 Let's drop down to verse 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Accent, verse 26. For you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Hallelujah. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. If you would join me again for a corollary text of scripture, St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 16, verse 15. Go on to this corollary text. Hallelujah to God. St. Mark's Gospel. Chapter 16, verse 15. Do we have it? Can we say amen? Amen. amen. All right, reading thusly. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Can we say amen? Amen. Again, let us journey the first. The second Corinthians being part of the second Corinthians. And there's a purpose for all of this reading. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Second Corinthians chapter 4, beginning at verse number 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we receive, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But I have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, Amen. in whom the God of this world has divided the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Fifth verse. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves servants, ourselves your servants rather, for Jesus' sake. Amen. And our last text of scripture, and as you can see in the progression of scripture, you see the correlation of these various texts. All right, then 2 Corinthians chapter 5, beginning at verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. And when I conclude this reading, I will give you my subject. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. 
So the Lord blesses and settle ever correct and forever holy word. Let me say amen. You might be seated. Amen. 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 In the culmination of this these texts of scripture which we read, our primary and subsequent corollary texts. Amen. Praise the Lord. Last night I was listening to the man the word. And he was getting close when I said, he started to battle my because he called the scripture. And I said, okay, Holy Ghost. I sat there and I had to chuckle. <laughs> Amen. Because I said, you know, God got a way of confirming what he going to say. Sir. Hallelujah to God. So I would submit to you this afternoon this subject, the call, the commission, and the message. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The call, the commission, and the message. Amen. This subject this afternoon to be encouragement to the ministering brethren, but not only to the preaching brethren, but to you, the saints of the Most High God. Yes. We have been called to a specific type of ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. This calling is different from any other calling that man can have on the earth. Yeah, right, right. I would dare say this calling is the greatest of callings. Some people are called to be great teachers, great doctors, even great musicians. Amen. Their achievements in life correlate with their particular earthly calling. Amen. There are some people that are good carpenters. Some people are good flaws. Hallelujah to God. That is their calling. And sometimes you got a good carpenter, he may not be a good car mechanic. Yeah. I heard some of the young folks say, stay in your lane. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that a particular calling that you have, that your achievement in life has your goal, or I might dare say, your career. Amen. Amen. That is your particular calling. Now, this calling that I'm dealing with this afternoon is a call that God declares because he wants to deliver mankind. God is not talking out of heaven to everybody. That's right. That's right. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is not talking out of heaven right. to everybody. But God got somebody he can talk to. And that individual has received a divine call. And receiving that divine call, that person is called a preacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. That call of the preacher is one of the most important in all the world. That call of the preacher is also one of the most dangerous calls yes, in the world. Because right. one thing's for sure, if you don't do the call that God gave you, you're in trouble when you stand before it. Yeah, right. Hallelujah to God. This call we have received is to do one thing, to save the souls of mankind through God, ever blessed, forever said a word, and to save our own souls. Save right. us, right. Amen. Yeah. That preaching call that we received Brethren, we got to be saved. Say amen. 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 We can't just beat the saints all the time. Uh -huh. When the word come back and beat the preacher. Confound you 
before them. Yeah, that's right. But this Paul, Paul is admonishing, you see your calling. Brethren, if these preachers in Kansas City really considered the call they claim they got, they'd be on the altar crying. Say amen, somebody. Amen. They'd be crying out to God, save me, and save me the people I'm passing. Yeah, say amen, somebody. Lord, deliver me. Open my eyes to your word. Yes. yes. You see your calling. Yeah. Brethren, this special, particular calling, you know what a wonderful thing it is to be called. Mm -hmm. Amen. He didn't have to call you uh, or I. Right, he didn't have to call us, no, but he did. And since he did, wouldn't we rather give God what he asked for? Yeah. Hallelujah to God. One thing I have learned, as I continue to learn, and, yeah, amen, 40 something years, and all of it hadn't been prayed. Well, <laughs> yeah. hallelujah to God. One thing I continue to learn, amen, in the ministry, I said, God, these folk don't belong to me. Uh -huh. They belong to you. That's yeah. right. That's right. And Lord, it's not my job to keep them. Uh -huh. It's your job to keep them. Amen. 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 Ain't no need to be running my blood pressure high in the world. Yeah. Paul said, you see your calling. Yeah. Now then, then, again, the young folks say, stay in your lane. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't claim to be a prophet, but I can yet prophesy. Say amen, somebody. Yeah. When God sends that anointing, yeah. and God sends that anointing, I ain't going to stand before nobody and prophesy a lie. Say amen, amen somebody. Uh -huh. I'm not going to stand in the holy place and declare, amen, I lie to God's people. Yeah. Yeah. That is not my calling. Uh -huh. I'm going to stand my calling. I'm a teacher. Yeah. Oh, say amen, somebody. Say amen. amen. Sometimes 
God to call on somebody that he know is jacked up from the floor. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why did he call him? Because he know he can't go. Uh -huh. He better not show out. Come he on. better not do it. But if he go up and God said, I'll pull him back and show everything. Before you, 
before them. That's right. That they might see if he can make it, I can it too. Say that's, that's right. right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have a call, right. and we got a commission. Yeah. Now then, once we receive our commission, we have a ministry. Yeah. We have a message. Hallelujah to God. This message may not be accepted by everybody else. That's right. This message oftentimes is controversial. Yeah. Yes, in the light of current events. Yeah. Hallelujah. In an age where men are calling evil good and good evil. Right. Uh huh. Like the young people say, man, that is sick. What? But that means good to them. Right. <laughs> man, that is ill. Uh -huh. That's ill. That's sick. What? The Bible told us they were called evil good That's and good evil. Say amen to but yeah. this ministry we have, this message is not going to be accepted by everybody. Right. This message is controversial. Why? Because when God calls a preacher, again I say, when God calls a preacher, this is the preacher's textbook. That's Say right. That's right. That's right. I mean, when God calls a preacher, this is his roadmap. Right. When God calls a preacher, this is his revelation right here. Yeah. Through the Holy Ghost. Woo. I said through the Holy Ghost. Oh, now, anybody can read this book, but only the Holy Ghost can deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> 